the guys this is a friday podcast you're gonna be a minimalist going forward no not a minimalist but i also am like um i'm excited to when i was thinking like about it in the summer that like we're this. going to we're gonna redo our set in the summer oh, for fuck's sakes i, I just know. did it i know it's great it's great i know but you know it's fun to evolve and change what are you gonna do and who are you gonna sure hire to yet. do it well your husband uh <laughs> he's gonna be, i don't he'll i don't i need to tell you something i don't know what's i think he asked me just to be honest yeah how committed we were to this and i said i I don't mind the green i just mean something else oh okay because i think it might be a different look it might be a different angle it might be i think if i'm to be honest we really drilled this in here yeah you did it's good i'm not i don't have a problem with that it's great for the sound it's great for everything i just mean like i want it to feel different okay you know like a new season even though everyone's like oh my god yours that's so pretty right and then you change right it's like everything it's like it's like our set too for um Oh, okay. So, so don't, shouldn't you leave okay. those there until we change to keep consistency? No, until- no, no. That's done for now. Done. Next, I, I, this, the flowers, it's, ugh. no. It's You're not. over flowers. Just those flowers. I feel like this live sign is great, but um, having like a coffee or something like that is like cooler. Yeah. Like, You're in your cool era. <laughs> I'm, in my, I'm definitely I'm not obviously in obviously my, tra- my tracksuit era right now. It's oh, yeah. cold. I don't feel... Yeah, yeah. Sexually getting dressed. Sexually. This is so much more my speed. So I was, um, and you know, we'll go back and do a little bit more of a deep dive because we touched upon um, me being off of my Zoloft slash Sertraline. But um, well, on a Tuesday, we can deep dive into the whole like journey of that. But when I was looking up the side effects of getting back on, and I'd heard this, but I totally forgot about it, is that one of the things that happens when you're on that is it numbs your ability for like sexual, um, like pleasure, like feeling, feeling, feeling things as much in your vagina. Mm-hmm. You feel nothing in your vagina. Not nothing, but like pleasure. everything else, is a little bit number. It's like it takes more work to get there. I remember this, can I? Because I remember thinking when when I first was on it, I was like, "Is it worth it?" Because now, like, it's not as easy to just. You know, <laughs> like orgasm, you know, like it, it's not as like, it's it's like your brain. It's not as sharp. It's like you're feeling like my mom's right? talking. I, I know, like I know, I know. Look right away. Now. Look away immediately, Catherine. But it is our sex podcast. So, I mean, I got to give a little. I'm just. So it's harder. Yeah. Like it's like everything is a little bit number. So even the feeling of like, like, let's say let's nipple. Like we were talking about nipples. Okay. <laughs> We were talking about nipples a little bit ago. I don't know if it was on the podcast or just our normal conversation. Let's say if my if I have if I had sensitive nipples, which I do, on search lean, less sensitive. That's great. Why? Why would you want to be less sensitive? Hmm. Sexually speaking, I mean to the cold and to hurt, yeah. Well, like I can't hold on. Mm-hmm. I just have to walk through it for a second. I I didn't want to walk through it. I just I, wanted to skirt over it. And just I'm not going to okay, go through your orgasmic <laughs> pleasures or your adventures. I'm just curious for a second. Like physically, you mean? Okay, mm-hmm. I just need to understand numb. Mm-hmm. I mean numb, mm-hmm. like physically, like it's, you're dry. It's like whiskey dick. Numb. Uh, yeah, not dry <laughs> for me, but um, yeah, <laughs> number. Like let's say wet I, like a whistle. <laughs> I know you know how people wet like a whistle. That is one problem I've just never had. I sh- fucking knock on wood. Although who cares? You just use lube. Yeah, you're I don't de- know. It seems like it's a big problem for people. I don't understand well, you what the could problem is. Tumbleweeds down there. So what tumbleweeds? Like dry as a desert. Tumbleweeds just going down. And then the don't river. you just use lube? I guess. I mean, yeah. I Maybe mean, it's not as good using lube. For who? I don't know. You. I don't know why people seem to have Apparently, a problem with the dryness. More, it's more fun with lube. Slippery slime. Everyone says go with the lube. lube. I, I guess. At, way so in. anyways. Lube or no lube? Or I guess if you don't need lube, you have your own lube. You have your natural lube. Same thing. Different shit. Different. Just right. at, one's out of a bottle. One's I out totally of a hole. Agree. So, Two holes. Same place. So I'm not worried about if I uh, go through a menopause or whatever and then I get dry. But maybe you guys can let me know why that's bad. What, so you don't just like. So when you're in a public bathroom and you just don't have lube on you, it's not going to work. Well, that ain't happening. Yeah, not yet. So, you know, like right now, let's say, let's say something happened. I could cry, but it would have to be really bad or really sad. I don't think you could cry. I, I'm not like, I don't know if you could actually, I think you just carry it. Like, I feel like you would just carry on. Like, you'd be that sad. But something could make me cry probably. Yeah. I don't know, but I, I assume. Okay. Like, I think I cried once or twice in the past nine years. <laughs> But 
so same thing, right? It's like the feelings aren't at the tip of your finger. I bet, yeah. But it doesn't. So nerve, it's nerve blocking. Kind of, yeah. Emotion too. And I guess like, I guess, well, is sen- sexuality and sensuality, is it physical or is it mental? I would say well, both would be numbed. Apparently I'm supposed to be on a cream. It's called the Scream Cream. Okay, why don't we get that? Where do you get that? It's testosterone. Sure, let's get it. Yeah, I can do other things to you too. Oh, can I ask a question about testosterone? Sure. But you have to make sure you don't have lower, you're going to become a man. Oh, I do not have low testosterone, remember? I know, I know you can't get more. You don't want more mm. than that's what you get to actually get more body yeah. hair, et cetera. So then when Perlman did my blood work and she's like, oh, you have high testosterone, you must have be really like sexually horny. horny. I'm like, I'm on sertraline. Right, I guess that's the thing. So, so you have you don't want more, if you are you so can, I don't need any more testosterone. I already well, you have might the scream need, cream. You have the scream cream built. Apparently, if built you're in. wet like a whistle, you have the scream cream just built right in there. I guess. Yeah, you go crazy down there. Woo! And we really, I know, I know, we fucking say this all the time, but we need to get those those. We, we need to walk. You and I need to, you know. Okay, what? sorry. Walk into the store. Yeah, and say we want horny gummies. I think that would be something that we would totally do. Yes, and you okay? You we're gonna go do that. Why aren't we? Why don't we? I mean, what? I, I don't believe anything. I know. Well, let's prove it wrong. <laughs> well, I just, I think, because you can't drive. Like, it's like, it's such yeah, but a- it's at night time. It's like, you know, the kids are asleep, which is never. And then you're like, let's get horny. Try it. And then let's all of a sudden. Horny. Well, he, he, it's yes, pussy, he, it's pussy he doesn't bow. need it. It's Maybe. Full. Yeah. So you eat them and then you're either other gummies make us because fucking crazy. Exactly. So I'm either going two ways here. I'm either going like we out, don't know. out of my rocker or I'm humping. Like how, yeah. Because how I'm does, like humping his leg. How does the gummy know just to go to the sexual? It just. Well, we're going to give it a go. I don't know when. I've been saying that for 10 years. But testosterone. It's so one day I we can't drive. Something really. So I'm Google quickly. We're excited about having Colton Underwood back on our podcast, which is happening. But I saw him say, because he had the low sperm count, and he was saying, and we can ask him about this, but there are actually things, he, he considered himself like a really healthy person. He is, right? I mean, he's a picture Absolutely. of health. But when you went through the things with the doctor that can lower your sperm count, he hadn't considered okay, taking so, a sauna too often. Sorry, I just want to tell you something. Spinning. I want to tell you something. Working out more than five days a week. Terrible for you. I just want to say um, Mm -hmm. the supplements. So how do gummy, libido gummies work? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Hold on. This This is where the system is so flawed. Okay. The system is so flawed for men and women. Someone makes this stuff and it's only for men. The supplements use natural ingredients that work with the body to increase the production of sex hormones. Mm -hmm. For men libido gummies make getting and maintaining an erection quicker and easier what if we don't have that problem for women more vaginal lubrication oh that's nice i guess it's i guess people need this lubrication you take things for granted but that makes you horny i think that if you get i don't think you get wet for nothing ew can Uh. you stop saying that can you stop? No, I just I, just, I don't think that you sit around getting wet as I, a whistle I down just there, just don't walking think, around. I don't think you just get get wet for nothing. If it's wet, it's because something is happening. Can you stop saying that? Wet <laughs> stop saying slippery slide. Ew, 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 ew. And let the backbone. Can slide. you stop? Mm-hmm. You are like talking like you're a doctor, and this, you just keep saying I am so mm-hmm. wet. Enough. You know what? Enough. So about the lowering sperm count. Okay. Uh huh. So um. He also said, went through all the list of the things that he does that lowers his, and really the computer on the penis is apparently a thing. So, I mean, I don't know how. What did you say? Like when you put your computer on your lap. Sorry. I so our boys are screwed. Right? Um, I'm going to, but I, I'm going to do when a he lecture. stopped doing those things, yep. his sperm count raised. But one thing he said is, they said, are you on testosterone? He said, yes. Why was Colton on testosterone? What's that? He has, men can have low testosterone too. But that was lowering his sperm count. I mean, I am not a doctor. Like, was that like, is testosterone? Really stupid question. But is steroids testosterone? No. Maybe they have a, an element of a bad one in it, but I'm just... I'm just curious why he was on testosterone. Like, he kind of skirted over it and listened to the whole podcast because I just like to listen to clips of people's podcast so <laughs> except ours you like to listen to the whole thing oh the whole thing and you can go to youtube and men watch it can because steroids aren't just for horniness 
steroids are for like your muscle for your thing I, I never thought steroids were for horniness oh. steroids ruin their horniness sorry testosterone sorry yes testosterone has like for? a million maybe he just had didn't have enough and you need it for your bodily function not just for sex like you need it like oh i knew it was she, for sex. She's i thought like, it was for you being have manly. no she's like although we call it the scream cream it's not actually the scream for that it's like you need it for um hold on you need it for shh, 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 like uh muscle you need it for so that's probably what he takes it for like, for working out it sounded you, like everything he was saying was working out it's like for things that you need for your protection of your bones mm. like things like that so okay. if you have low something that's probably why you have such big bones mm. I don't have big bones. I have big muscles. muscles. Yeah. yeah. You have a lot of testosterone. Mm. I have no muscles, mm. which makes sense because I have no testosterone. It's very hard for me to get muscles. Mm. You just have to look at a weight and you get a muscle. I, I was going to Google yesterday uh. how many days it would take to build muscle. because Everyone's different. You're so right. You Some people literally- I will never. I will never have- a, Unless you turn into a bodybuilder and then you'd get I don't muscles. even think I would look though. I think I would have to go so extreme in what I ate. I think I would have mm. to be, like I don't have mm -hmm. the, I don't know the definite, I've, I've never had the definite, mm. in my most fittest times of my life mm. when I have been 24 mm -hmm. and every kind of weight thing, I never it's get. It's just got a nice soft padding around it. Yeah. I just have like a. Is it a thick skin? Mm, I don't know. Feel my arms. It's like if you got hit feel. by a car, your bones wouldn't like break. It's like strong, but not. That's like the I don't skin have a is a padding. It's like you don't have thin you call skin. Me, let's take a quick break. <laughs> you call me fluffy? No, like, like, like just like what you're saying. Like it would be harder to see muscle definition because I just there's don't like, think I have big muscles. But there's also like a nice like suppleness. Yeah, like a roundness. <laughs> call me round and fluffy. I never said fluffy. You said fluffy. Roundness, like um, yeah, just like a nice coating. Because you know, some people are like, like bony. And if they got muscles, you'd be able to see them. Yeah. There's like a thinness around them. I would say mine's like a thinness around me. You know? Yeah. You, you've got like loose skin. <sighs> My dad say it's loose. It's thin. Like it's like, yeah, thin skin. Yeah. Thin. I, have th I don't have thin skin. Yeah. That's probably well, why skin. when you get your shit done to your face, it doesn't hurt as much. Nothing hurts. Yeah. Right. My boobs don't And mine hurt. is so thin. Yeah, exactly. Mm. It's just such a delicate flower with big muscles. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, so, so, so that's my, 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 so I noticed when I went back on the pill, my pills. pills. Oh, okay. I'm like, what pill that now? I got numb again because I did have sex last night. No, like, um, two or three nights ago. Congratulations. I initiated it. Congratulations. Look at you. You are 0.1.2. Point you are just really growing up over here. Just really putting on your big girl panties Listen, and running. That was, that was once. I feel this for you, though. I think you were just chesty. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. What? I know. It's private. I can't talk about it. <laughs> but I can't say it. Do you think maybe it's like, you, you know were, what I was. You were curious? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, if there was any interest, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess, yeah. And then also... It's just weird how men's moods are so connected to sex. Mm -hmm. Well, not everyone's men's, mm -hmm. but most men's. Mm -hmm. Like so many men's. Men's we know. Men's, a lot of men's we know. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, do, do you see like an instant... Listen, I'm in a... I'm, you know, people are in like a different era. Right now I'm living in a different era that is very unfamiliar. Congratulations. Hi, guys. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I but I also thought to myself I was like mm. I you know I said to my my my, my one mm. of my friends asked what time do you go to bed right I said some nights I'm in bed at eight and some nights I'm in bed at 1 30 mm. she goes you should have that in your like profile some nights I go to bed at eight some nights like, like there isn't any there's no consistency. no consistency and so I was thinking it would be confusing to be married to someone who was just like, some nights you want to stay up and you want to watch all the shows together and some nights you don't even come downstairs, just don't know what I'm going to get. I personally... I, I think that's very normal. And I also think that's kind of like, it's like fun. It's like nothing's... Like imagine it was the same every night. So a lot of people do the same thing every so single I night. have a really bad habit right now, mm. but everyone knows it in my family. So I used to lie with Chloe every single night. Yeah. 
it's terrible for like my relationship, but listen, this is a relationship slash sex podcast. So I, um, Mm -hmm. I used to be in her room till Mm -hmm. God knows what hour Mm -hmm. because I get get cozy. It's so cozy. Did you fall asleep there? No, never never did. I do not fall asleep in kids' beds. Right. So uh, then I would come out to put the other ones to bed, but she'd go to bed at 8.30 and sometimes I'd lie there till like 10. Right. And then I would come out and um, go upstairs. And it was really kind of hindering my life. At one point, I'm like, okay, I got to stop. This is like now. I feel like now- my other kids would be like, what the fuck? Ah, uh, for sh- Now they just call her the favorite. So, of course the baby's the favorite. Don't be stupid. Then I decided, like, I'm like, here's a tip for all you new parents out there. Don't supplement one bad habit for another bad habit because you're just breaking habits for the rest of your life. Just like. Is this advice you're giving but not yeah. like, taking? Oh my God, 100%. I love I'm it. like living this yeah. terrible like yeah this she's almost what is nine it? what is the new one so now i go into my bed i know so she can she knows i'm there yeah. in my bed and i lie in my bed I while know. she falls asleep well, if you think yeah that i'm getting back no. out of bed to go downstairs at no. nine o'clock at night Fuck you no. crazy do you know my bedroom is so conducive Ugh. to being lazy Ugh. my bedroom Ugh. i like you know i joke to my husband like he has he loves <laughs> this is so bad he loves this bed okay that goes you have a remote and it actually tilts up and down it is the biggest like turn off of my life I don't even use my remote because I think it's so disgusting that you have a bed that like tilts up to sit up and your feet can go up to <laughs> by the way his like you and him like came from such different places growing up but there are tiny little windows of like his that slips in like the chairs, yeah, and like the bed. So lazy, okay, La- like, lazy. No, like, like people who have lazy boys. There are people who have lazy boys. I bet They're you never lazy. had a lazy boy Fuck in no. your house. Okay. I don't even think we had a chair that got was comfortable. But you, I know, right? But you, me neither. But you know those people that had them, yeah. And, and everyone, you're like, these are amazing. And everyone wants to go sit in that room because sometimes they have cup holders. Oh my god! I listen. I could up it. Mm-hmm. What the fuck do I care? Mm-hmm. Comfort over. Mm-hmm. I mean. It mm. is not conducive to anything other than being lazy. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the bed, the remotes go up and they go down and they're even separated. Okay. So like you have I your- sat on her bed yesterday and I fell in the middle. You have your own mattress. So good. I'm like about to get my own duvet. Wait. So when you guys what do it, does someone go to the other? Like do you- It's a great- Well, no, because there's a duvet. Or does it go that way? It's often not that far apart, but when someone comes and like if anyone changes- like, Do the- you go to his side or does he go to his side? I just tell me. Someone has no, to go to his side. You because- can't do it in the middle. Why? Because it'd be weird. It's a really it usually is t- <laughs> listen. It usually is tighter together, but because there are people that are changing the bed that day, mm-hmm. it's like it gets separate. So really, you can usually lie on it. So you can do the middle. Literally, you can. And I've also had a low. I, I also know that you do it like in on the bathroom, in the closet, in the, kitchen. In the window. Like it's not. It's not like she's a traditional bed sexer. So exactly. I. It's he's so great. I was like get actually, out the swing <laughs> down here, yeah, right here, geez, right here, right here. With Action. the camera on. Oh. I was saying, sorry to interrupt the, the what you're going to say, but imagine, just imagine. Oh, you find me on the cameras, and that you and him have a weekly OnlyFans down here, and you film in here. Because you know, sometimes people find out things, and they're like, "I honestly had no, no that idea. That would have been the last person I would have thought to do that." And I was like, "Fine," said I wouldn't be mad at you, by the way. Oh, you'd join. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> Take a quick break, and I'll finish my story. <laughs> So I feel like can Mark and I rent it. <laughs> mine, yeah, mine's not even plugged in my side. Right. So when his is up, I'm just like, oh, he is like, look how comfortable I am. I'm like you, and then like just put your bed down. Mm, Good night. Mm, like this. And I'm just like, Ugh. Okay. yeah. He's like, when you discover the bed going up, you're gonna, you you're are gonna be, gonna be like, um, no, I don't. I just what can't. does he do when it's up? He's on his phone. He's on his computer. He's watching, watching TV. TV. So sorry. When you're watching TV, you just have a pillow behind your head and he's actually up elevated. No, yes. no, he's not. Yes. And you're not. Yes. Yes. And you two watch TV together in bed. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Oh my God. My bed is like, my bedroom is made for Oops. no sex. My bedroom <laughs> is made, my med, my bedroom is a third living room. Really, no, I mean, obviously the TV I is, feel that way about TV my bed. The TV is big. Mm-hmm. It's great viewing. You have. But we don't watch TV in bed because nope. Yeah, because he would. He doesn't wear pajamas. Pa- pardon? Your husband doesn't wear pajamas. Your husband wears pajamas. <laughs> I mean, like boxer. Like you might. Like mine just takes his clothes off and wears like boxers. Yours too. 
Yes. Yeah, but so my- Don't you think he was naked? Yours? Yeah. No, I just, like, you're going to watch TV. You're going to go downstairs. Like, he's not going to- I can't see him watching TV. That would feel very lazy for him. I don't see in him- In his underwear. Ever, I would never see him watching TV in bed. No. Mine falls asleep. That's game winner, winner, chicken dinner. Up. We'll- And then sometimes I steal his remote and put him down quietly. <laughs> that is amazing. I know. And he doesn't wake up? <laughs> he will chronically fall asleep and then wake up. I'm like, you're asleep. He's like, no, I'm not. Dude, that is it. They fall asleep on the couch. I'm not asleep. And by I'm the way, resting. It's quick power naps. For so, what? Go to bed. So you had a power nap. So now you're ready to rump it up when we go upstairs. Yeah. I didn't get a power nap. No, I didn't get a power nap. I don't sleep on the couch. No, if I get a power nap, I'm not going back to bed. If I get a power nap, I'm like, I'm awake all night and not for a good reason. So that's a man thing. Yeah, it's a man. Uh, they have to rest up to get it up. Like, I'm just I'm, like I find it so unattractive that you're sleeping on the couch and then you wake up and you want to do it. Like no, no. also mixed signals. I thought we were tired. I totally agree <laughs> with you. And then you're and then you're like, wait, what is the foreplay of you asleep? Like, where was the romance of you snoring beside me? Because when you sleep on the couch, you are so unattractive. And when I'm and when I'm asleep, yeah. Like if I if I act tired, yeah. you're like, oh, you're always tired. Mm. But you can fucking sleep. Mm. You can sleep. Yeah. You can actually go to sleep, sleep and say you're not tired. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's confusing. So, wow, that's a truth. So, anyways, yeah, uh-huh. the bed is really so. I get in my bed, mm. and all my kids know I don't get out. They're like, "Oh, there!" And I have to keep the lights off because she likes the door open too. So, the everyone lights ha- off because <laughs> everyone has it's so terrible. She runs the house. I'm going to be fully transparent. She is the mm. dictator of the house. Everybody knows it. They're all even. Olivia will walk in, mm. and Max will be loud, and she's like, "This shh." We be quiet when she's asleep <laughs> and they turn in off, this house. And they turn off the kitchen. Like, I actually do drive by your house in the evenings. And I'm like, it looks. <laughs> Max has to eat in the dark. I got to stop this. This is crazy. She runs it. So. Because she wants a door open. She, the baby, should be on the third floor. I know. She should. But she was a baby when we moved in. Yeah. No. I mean, I get it. You know what? Before we know it, it'll be over. But that is hilarious that being quiet, like, for a kid. I know she's nine and everyone walks in and they're like this. Shh. I'm like, Oh, Mm -hmm. this is so weird. Yeah. Anyways, I am. Um, yeah, I have no nightlife at home. Like I go into my room right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, I, it's summertime. I'm a new person. I know when the weather changes. Oh yeah. I'm a brand new person. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. I'm done with being the, that's a winter. Yeah. Activity. I'm still doing it too. I did it last night. What? They all went out. They were oh, out. Yeah. I stayed in my bed. I think that right after dinner, I went upstairs and I had a bath. And then that's when you know. Oh, I have a shower and that's it. Yeah. And then I I think I was probably there from eight. And then they all came home. Some of them didn't get home till 10. Yeah, exactly. And Why am I downstairs till 10 o'clock at night? I never. Um, but then the nights that I do stay up and watch lots of fun shows, I like that night too. What are fun shows? Oh my gosh. Getting into like a series. Like right now I'm I, into I watch multiple. series in my bed. Mm, no. Mm. Well, alone I would, but if I'm trying to watch with Mark, you know, get him involved so we can like talk about like, like have, oh, we just finished what have what the conversations about the like show like we we would if we were both watching like we just finished the Patriots that was great long mm. series it was interesting I'm not done yet I gotta go back it was yeah it's I mean it's crazy because mm-hmm. we like to watch it with the family and to get everyone together for it it's hard yeah I mean there is, it's lots of like ooh, okay um how what episode are you on. How many are there? Ten? Or, so. or six or eight. Maybe I'm on four. Have you got to Aaron Hernandez yet? Right. No, you haven't because he bathes with his mom. That's right. But I did watch the Netflix special on him. No, I know. But yeah, that, yeah, no, that, no, that funny no, no, thing no, right? no, we're not there. Dying li- I have to tell you quickly because it's an ongoing joke. Nat used to bathe with her children. I still does. Um, and the Patriots go through like, it's not just about Tom Brady. It's kind mm. of about their... Mm-hmm. There are scandals and yeah, it's like, not about Tom Brady; it's about the Patriots. But he's in the whole thing mm-hmm. because and he is what he is the goat. Mm-hmm. And they touch on Aaron Hernandez. The whole episode's actually on him and how crazy, like, kind of the people they brought in and why they picked and Aaron Hernandez. And then one of the guys, a receiver, I don't know, all of them says to another guy, and they're both on the documentary. Dude, you got the locker beside him and like was trying to give him advice and he was like he's a fucking weird guy you just have to like focus on your thing he talks about bathing with his mom till he was a certain age and I'm dying laughing because it was like 
that was made what made him a killer was that and one more thing that he talked about like was like those what two- was his mom's deal i remember hearing about the dad and everything but what was the mom i don't want to touch about her yeah. they, they she just together. had baths that's all <laughs> And just kind of like, and it just kind of went into him and how he, you, it was a rule. No one goes out with him. And he asked to be, sadly, he asked to be traded Mm -hmm. because he knew he was in deep Mm. because he was hanging out with people he grew up with because he was close to home. Yeah. And he wanted to go to like Seattle. Yeah. And they're like, you're not going to Seattle. And if they basically alluding to if he'd been traded, he'd be alive and normal. Who knows? Same. That's what they say. Kind of like sliding doors. You know what I mean? Either it happens. He knew he had to get out. But or it happens later. And then everyone's like, you. then whenever someone would come in, it was a rule, you do not go out with that guy. Never, ever, ever be caught out with that guy. So Tom never went out with him. Fuck no. No one did. No one on the team did. He was like, no. That was like a big no. I'm like totally pulling a blank. He's dead, right? Yeah, he killed himself in prison. Yes. Or he got killed. Something happened in prison, but he was he was really bad. Like really bad oh, yeah, for, no, no, for no reason. I know. Other than he was too connected to where he, he was too, Boston was too close to where he grew up mm-hmm. and the old ways pulled him back in and he mm-hmm. didn't have to be there, but he just couldn't, he killed, I mean, killed so many people. Basically it came down to like he came killing like four people or something. I mean, I'm making that up. Was he the dog fight guy? I don't. I don't think. There's someone else. I don't know. Fuck the it. whole shit was, so we watched that, but mm-hmm. often I'm, t- I'm like, do you're you also, not tired at okay, nighttime? What okay. If yeah. you're watching a show yeah. and there's sex scenes in it. Fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. That would be so funny. Skip, skip. He goes to the bathroom and you're like, skip, skip. Oh, I don't know. That was I uh, you know, if there's a sex scene. I don't scene, watch those shows right now because often you gotta be careful. Someone's dying too. Someone's being killed. I well, told you I don't like happy things. I don't like unless it's like just sheer fun erotica. Like I don't even mm. know a show. There's nothing really fun. Well, maybe the movie will be coming up, but but he's also young, 21. That's not my thing. I it's not my thing either, but I think that everyone is going to be kind of into it. I'm fine with that, but like even Grey's Anatomy felt kind of abusive, like to me in my brain. Sorry, Fifty Shades of Grey. Like oh, at the yeah. end of that the day, one, yeah. it didn't feel. No, that like, didn't feel great. It didn't feel hot. I was like, this is kind of like not. This feels but abusive. You have to, but, but you feel like you got to be careful if you're gonna watch a sex scene. We started with your the prison one, and I was like, I, I'm which oh, orange is the new black. So I'm like, this is just sex in prison. Also, and, they're just gonna get boners if they're sex. Well, that's and fine. Then the, all they're gonna want to do is have sex. Yeah, but it made me feel bad. Okay, well, forget that. I'm talking about the sex part. Well, I'm saying the sex has to be happy. I don't know many shows that are like happy. Oh. Uh, happy sex. Find it for me. Oh, I'm sure there's lots of happy sex, like Full House. Just kidding. <laughs> Full House. <laughs> Good morning, girls. <laughs> no sex. There are. There is happy sex. Really? Just hot happy sex. Yeah. Happy. Find me happy sex. Okay. Like happy I'm not s- sending you happy sex, because then you're going to watch it, and then your husband's getting horny. You're going to say, Natalie, why'd you make well, me watch happy, happy sex? I feel like happy sex show is less than, like, I don't want someone who's having a problem, and they hire someone. I don't want you like that stuff. I don't want mm. that stuff. I want, like, maybe they're just like, Woo! I don't know. Mm. I, I don't know. No show of happy sex. Mm. Oh, but there are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can't think of them. Yeah, but there are. Most are torrid, terrible, sad. No, no, that's not true. There's so many like romantic comedies cowboy- where they have sex. Where? Yeah, I forget right now. <laughs> but I know <laughs> like it's true. Series. Yes. Maybe I'll make a happy sex series. Okay. You know, like Hallmark, but with sex. Because those yeah. you know, those Hallmark movies, they hold you, they hold you back. They give you a little kiss. They okay. don't, uh, not open mouth. Like, come on, let's have a romantic sex. You know scene. what? I bet, and I'm not just saying this for like. I bet even if, even if you got to dry humping, mm-hmm. and then, like, mm-hmm. like not because sometimes the sex scenes are gross. Like they're the way the the sounds. I'm like that just sounds disgusting to me. I know that sounds weird. And then I always think about like the people, like the cameraman in the room. So like, if you could just get to dry humping and then scene. Okay, I'll find you that. Like on a legal site. Serious. I don't want Yeah, no, legal on a legal <laughs> site. Yes, I will. I don't want to pay for it. I know. It'll be on Netflix. Why are you doing why are you sending it to me? Because I want to show you happy sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good friend thing to do. Happy sex. I challenge anyone to send it to me. I will. I find it. I just can't think right now. Cause all I can think about is murder. I know. All the time. <laughs> What ones? Because most happy shows. No, I can't do right now. No, I can't do. I'm just saying, not many happy shows are rated R. No, but there's those movies, you know, where they make love. They make love. Who? The the main characters make (laughs) love. 
I'll find them for you. I've seen them. It's so uncomfortable. Yeah. That actually, that show, mm. the book was that. Happy. Yeah. It was happy. Yeah, it was totally happy There sex. was no, nothing. No so one was taking advantage. So many details. You know? But if you just think of the sound of the licking, I wonder how they're going to figure that out when she licked her butthole and all they that. They don't do that part. They skip that part? Yeah. Wow. I love that that's the one part you took. There were so many scenes. They just, only talked that once. I just can't believe she said butthole. She seemed more refined than saying butthole. I think anus is a bit much, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe my poop shoe? <laughs> What's a nice word that, for a butthole? That's not nice. Poop shoot is not. What's I, a nice? He licked my that's poop shoot. Disgusting. Shoe. What's a nice name for a butthole? Um, anus. A noosla. <laughs> anus. And if it's a girl's one, a noosla. Just a noose. Yeah. Do you want to lick my anus? Oh my god, that's probably someone's name somewhere. Anus. A noosla. My my son and I oh, quickly wow. last night. Oh wow! I know we are going there and we have to go. Um, <laughs> I let him know what mm-hmm. why beavers are vaginas again <laughs> because we've been doing this since your old house oh i actually forgot why too you told me because they eat wood because is he, that really true he was am i the i think i'm the only one know what knows what a beaver is because someone did a project of course on beavers yeah and I, he's like i was laughing but no one else was i'm like okay well i'm gonna explain are you sure you got the right he word actually did a speech yep. on that i said well it is the national animal Oh, Canada's. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So I said, I'm going to let you know. I'm like, it's really inappropriate as a mom to let you know what it means. But I feel like you sh- already did five years ago. Well, his favorite animal was a beaver and his planet was an what, Uranus. Uranus. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Are you joking me? He's playing you. No, he wasn't. Dead serious. And I go, who has a favorite planet? He goes, well, I guess they would learn them. And he goes, we're learning them again. I go, do you all laugh when it's like Uranus? And he's like, that kind of joke's like, that's sort of old news now. Oh. That's like a kindergarten joke. And I was mm-hmm. like, I would still laugh if oh, the teacher said Uranus. Oh, my God, yes. So I said, I'm just, I'm going to, I don't I don't know the parenting line right now, but since we're like having open dialogue, because mm-hmm. we were talking yes, about we consent, mm-hmm. I said, I'm going to let you know mm-hmm. um, why a beaver is called a beaver so you have context. Because you taught me that. And <laughs> is that true? Yes. Are you sure? Everyone knows what a beaver is. I know a beaver's vagina, but I didn't know it's because it eat wood. Why else would it be that way? I'm not sure. Beavers love wood. All they do is eat wood. I never thought about it. They eat wood. I knew it was a beaver, but I didn't Think know why. Beavers eat wood. I feel like that's something your brother told you and you just believe it to be true. No. Why is, I'm just going to go, why is a also, beaver it, a vagina? It, if you cover their faces, that could be a vagina too. A beaver could look like a little beaver. Don't all animals sort of have that face? No, you don't see the face. I'm saying the bush. The beaver, the actual beaver covering could look like pubic hair. The beaver covers his face? <laughs> no. What do you mean? If the beaver yeah. had no face, yeah. like let's say it was like this, yeah. it could double as a bush on a vagina. Couldn't a lot of animals? Tell me more. Groundhog. No. Flat. What's the difference? Groundhog? Yeah. Black coat. What's a beaver's coat like? Stringy. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Why is a vagina? Because that one seems more realistic. The wood part, I think, is a joke. That is not a joke. It makes total sense. I know it makes sense, but I don't think that's okay. Female uh, bearded man from the appearance of split what? beaver pelts. What? No, you're not bringing the right thing. sense. Yes, I am. Female genitals, especially with the display of pubic hair, is 1927 British slang transferred from earlier meaning a bearded man in 1910 from the appearance of split beaver pelts. What does a split beaver pelt look like? Oh, God. Why is it called a beaver? Incidentally, the beaver is a derogatory word associated with the pubic area, not the vagina. It's believed the term originates See, from the you. 15th. Sex workers were expected to wear merkins made of beaver pelt when a lice epidemic forced everyone that look to like? go bald. Yeah, but that looks like a groundhog too. Well, that, that, I guess they were beaver pelts. There is a lot of history and the reason it's called a beaver. Do you see this? Sex workers were expected to wear merkins of beaver pelt. So I guess I have to, they like to sleep with a giant vagina. So it has nothing to do with eating wood, ma'am. <laughs> well, I better go. Ma'am. Qu- I better go. Although qu- that is the most genius thing I've ever heard. And it's a good joke. I guess. And I'm- I know which brother taught you that. 
You, what, what if I made it up? You, there's no way. In my brain, I feel no. like, yeah, that makes sense. Can we call your brother and ask him why? Sure can. Why? Do not say anything. Why do people call vaginas a beaver? Sure can. Is he going to answer? Sure can. We're not going to say what brother. No, we're not. It could be my brother. Between us, we have two, four, five brothers. Yeah. Okay. Hi, you're on a quick podcast. I'm not identifying which brother you are of all of ours. I just want to know, do you know why a beaver is called a beaver? No. What? Why is a vagina called a beaver? Why is a hoochie called a beaver? Can you not say the word vagina? Sure. Why is a vagina called a beaver? Jeez. Come on, think deep. You got this. I have- No! I'm not going to say nothing. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You cannot phone, phone a friend right now. Like, what do I'm you think? I'm not phoning any friends right now. I'll just say, because Kat thinks it's something, and I'm like, I'm sure your brother told you that. There's no way you thought of that yourself. For sure I did. <laughs> think deep no. <laughs> about the lessons you've taught her. Uh, all, the, all the lessons, all the lessons. So? Because it likes... <laughs> because it likes deep to go deep. I don't know. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good what one. What else? That's a good one. One more. One more. That's, it likes to go deep. Good one. Good. One more. <laughs> good one. One more. Thinking on your feet here. Uh, it also appreciates moisture. <laughs> okay. He doesn't see. Fair. All right. So you know what I said? The, why? It likes to eat wood. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you never heard that. That's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, no. That's hers. That's hers. Wow. Yeah, I knew wow. That. That's what in my brain I pieced together. It's called the beaver because I, it, it's, it eats wood. And just so you know, if you Google it, that doesn't come up. So that is a cat original. Thank you. Boom. Oh, because it, it likes to eat wood. Thank you. <laughs> Top Max at one last night. You might want to clarify <laughs> that's not why. <laughs> chew away, ladies. Chew away. Don't you <laughs> chew away. <laughs> <laughs> um, aren't you don't you I, wish you had our job I am just from a clever family yeah I really do I really no, 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 no. well thank you uh, thank I, you I, so I'm much I'm add that to my repertoire I'll teach that one to the family dinner tonight why does it why is a vagina called the beaver because it likes to go deep it likes to go deep and chew wood thank you very much also in theory a penis is called a wood too right he's got yeah. wood yeah. so yeah. it yeah, yeah thanks. your vagina that's, eats the wood the, yeah we got it. Yeah. that's okay. the point but then he just added one in there eat wood too you could eat the wood beavers like to eat wood and but nobody wants their wood to be eaten <laughs> okay bye yes no, they do no 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 they don't want it eaten they, they want oh it. right okay they, they want they, it deep they, they, <laughs> thank you <laughs> bye they, that was great great good job uh, they, sh- you sh- they, sh- they should add that to Wikipedia or like, you know, the, the D- new Urban Dictionary. Urban Dictionary. We should really get into marketing. Okay. Thank you for um, joining us. Let us know if you have any uh, intel on the beaver. <laughs>